Welcome to my next video on invoice verification in SAP MM. In my previous video, we had seen overview of GRIR account maintenance. I had shown one example of GRIR account maintenance for a purchase order in which material is valued at moving average price. In this video, I will show GRIR account maintenance for purchase orders in which material is valued at standard price and also material is procured for consumption account. So let me take you to SAP system and also uh, before that one I will um, uh, take you to this document and explain some important points. For a material with moving average price, the offsetting posting to clear the GRIR clearing account is made to the stock account if there is sufficient stock coverage. For a material with standard price, the system makes the offsetting posting to the price difference account. And for a material procured against account assignment for a cost center, the system makes the offsetting entry to the consumption account. So now let us go to the SAP system and see all these examples one by one. So let us go to SAP system and this is one PO here. This PO is for 10 pieces of a certain material and GR is done for 9 pieces, invoice is posted for 10 pieces. There is a difference of 1 piece between GR and IR and this difference is settled by GRIR account maintenance and this is the account maintenance document for GRIR account maintenance. Now, if we go to this material, master record of this material and go to the accounting one view, we can see this material is valued at moving average price. Go back. Now, let us go to the accounting document of this GRIR account maintenance document. Just click on this account maintenance document. Click on follow on documents. Double click on the accounting document. So, here we can see the offsetting entry is made to the stock account. Why? Because this material is valued at moving average price. Back. Back. Let us see another PO. Here, if we see this PO, this PO is for a certain material and quantity 10 pieces. And if we see the PO history, the GR is done for 9 pieces and invoice is posted for 10 pieces. So here also there is a difference of 1 piece between GR and IR. Now this is the GRIR account maintenance document. So, so here, now let us see the valuation of this material. I will double click on this material. So, and let us go to the accounting one view of this material. We can see this material is valued at standard price. Let us go back and let us go to the accounting document of this account maintenance document. Just click on this account maintenance document. So, click on follow on documents, double click on the accounting document. So, here we can see the offsetting entry is made to the price difference account. Why? Because this material is valued at standard price. So, go back. Close this window. Again, go back. And we will see another example. So, another example. This is another PO. So, this PO is for a consumable material. And the quantity is 10 pieces. And this material is procured for a cost center. And what is the account assignment? Go to the account assignment tab here. We can see. This material is procured for cost center 1111 and GL account 400000. Now, if we see the purchase order history, the GR is posted for 9 pieces, but invoice is posted for 10 pieces. So, here also there is a difference of 1 piece between the GR quantity and IR quantity. And this is the GR IR account maintenance document to clear the difference of 1 piece between. GR and IR. Now, let us see the accounting document of this GRIR account maintenance document. Just click on this account maintenance document and click on follow on documents. Double click on the accounting document. So, here we can see the offsetting entry is made to the consumption account. And uh, which consumption account? This GL account 400000 for which this material is procured. So now it is very clear that for a material with moving average price, the offsetting posting 
to clear the GRIR clearing account is made to the stock account if there is sufficient stock coverage. And for a material with standard price, the system makes the offsetting posting to the price difference account. And for a material procured against cost, cost center uh, for any specific account assignment, like any specific GL account, the system makes the offsetting entry to the consumption account. So now it is very clear and we have seen the practical example of account movements with GRIR account maintenance for materials with moving average price, standard price and material procured for consumption account. And uh, in my next video, we will do an exercise on GRIR account maintenance where we will clear the GRIR clearing account for a specific purchase order for a specific vendor. So thank you for watching my video. Please give me your valuable comments, likes and please subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss any of my upcoming videos on several scenarios on MM. Thanks for your time and see you in my next video.